Today I'll be talking about the chip breaker, also known as the cap iron, on a hand plane, and how it works. We'll start by looking at an x-ray view of a hand plane. This piece is the chip breaker, or cap iron. It attaches to the plane iron, or blade, with a flathead screw. This screw has a knurled texture so it can be hand tightened while you align the chip breaker and then locked in place with a screwdriver. The chip breaker is clamped against the back face of the plane iron. On a smoothing plane, it should be placed as close to the edge of the blade as possible, usually about 1 64th of an inch back. For thicker shavings, reveal more of the blade. The tip of the chip breaker is honed at an angle so it makes solid contact with the blade. Any gap between these two parts will result in the hand plane getting clogged with shavings. The chip breaker can be re-honed on a whetstone like this. So what exactly does the chip breaker do? Let's take a look at what could happen without a chip breaker. The tip of the plane iron acts as a wedge, which splits the grain ahead of the blade. This can cause tear out, resulting in an uneven wood surface. The same thing happens in a similar way when a log is split by an axe. The split in the log goes farther than the front of the blade, following the direction of the grain. Now let's see how it works with a cap iron to act as a chip breaker. As the wood is split by the plane iron, the shaving hits the chip breaker, crumpling the grain. This prevents it from splitting in front of the blade, minimizing chip out and resulting in a smoother surface. The blade depth should be adjusted so the edge of the blade sticks out through the sole of the plane, while keeping the chip breaker above the sole of the plane. This can be set by using the depth adjustment nut, which is usually a wheel made out of brass. The adjustment nut rotates on a reverse threaded screw and engages the yoke by moving forward and backward. The top of the yoke piece engages a hole in the chip breaker. And this moves the blade assembly, changing the depth of the cut. You'll also want to make the mouth of the plane small. Move the frog forward using the frog adjustment screw. This is the setup you want for a smoothing plane when you're making fine shavings. For a rough plane to remove a lot of stock, like a jack plane or a scrub plane, you'll want the blade lower, the chip breaker higher, and a wider mouth opening. I hope you learned something new about hand planes by watching this video. They're an incredibly versatile tool once you know how to use them. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you get notified about my future videos. And don't forget to hand plane that like button. Bye.